Hey, welcome to Arm Wraps. My name is Randy Miller, and we see seen right here, it's actually called the Worker A Squeegee, and it's new in the line of the Arm Wraps tools. So this is actually a design for architectural films, and there's a lots of tools in this one little guy, and I was gonna show you some videos showing you all the tools in one this little guy to make it easier for you guys to install the architectural films a little quicker, a little accurate, and just a little bit better. So that's the reason why I make these tools right there. Uh, also, once you get down watching these little videos, if you're remotely interested in, in ordering this little guy, you go to the armwraps.com website and on the very bottom, it says Ar uh, Arm Wraps Tools. You click on that and you can see this right there. There's the Worker A, Worker B, and some other units that you can actually order for that from there. So enjoy the little videos and uh, yeah, click away. Okay, on this one it's called the ruler. The reason why you, it's flat is because you can actually tack the vinyl onto the uh, squeegee itself and then just use the edge of the squeegee to know exactly the two inches or three inches or one inch is you apply it right on there. That's one little technique. Okay, on this one it's called a gap guide and there's two of them. There's a sharper version and also a duller version on each side of the squeegee so this actually goes right in the middle of the gap and then you can put the vinyl evenly on left or right side of the unit. So on this little uh, guy right here, it's called the pointer. So when you, it's designed for going in the corner of the units. So the first thing I like to do is put the vinyl down as close as you can to the edge of the unit and use the pointer and get as de deeper into the corner right there as, as much as possible. The squeegee is designed to actually slide really good on the, the vinyl. So when you're cutting it, it's one inch thick up. And so when you apply the, another vinyl layer on there, it's perfectly uh, set on there. So that's the reason why we design the thickness, but also uh, the pointer edge. And you can see how tight that looks. It looks really good and even. So a lot of people don't know that you can actually sand the edges of the, the architectural films. So on the squeegee, you use a 220 and use the flat surface, hard flat surface on there, and you can sand it down. Usually you can do it left to right, or I would like to do circular motions and, and get it evenly sanded, and then you actually pull it off the vinyl and, and also sand it one more time to get the edges off, and then you can actually grab another layer of vinyl and then sand it again, and you have a lot less chances of the, if you use a blade to do a, around the edges, a lot less chances of actually digging into the architectural film. So this is actually more of a safer version of this, but this is another proper uses of having a hard surface and with sandpaper on it. This one is called the harness. It's pretty simple. When you're up high and you keep on dropping your squeegee, uh, it doesn't go far. And that's kind of another reason reasons why we use the little circular notch in the squeegee. There's another technique for using a hard surface on the back of the squeegee. You basically put the um, vinyl on top or on the squeegee, and this is called a double cut. So if you're cutting around the top and the edge, you like to go straight. Uh, so the vinyl lines up perfectly on the other side of the edge. As you can see, I'm just pulling that off, the one layer off and then one layer underneath. And so when you're laying it down onto the other surface, it lines up perfectly. So that's one little technique you can use. This little technique is called a straight edge, but also a double cut. So when you're doing corners or edges like what you're seeing right here, I'm, I'm imitating a uh, cabinet door. So you take your straight edge and it's 40 inches long. So it's uh, you can do a straight edge and then at the same time doing a double cut. 
instead of grabbing a ruler, you could just use your squeegee. That's what, one of the reasons why we're trying to get all these tool units usage into one tool. So that's a double cut straight edge that we call it. So anytime I like doing a double cut, I like to use the hard surface of the squeegee to line the double cut vinyls together. And this is what you're showing right now. And you can do the middle of the squeegee, but also you can actually do the edge. Uh, sometimes I use my fingernails, but I like using um, the round edge, as you can see right there, to make sure the vinyl lines up and is level. This is called follow the arrows. We put the arrows on there because you need to, uh, when you're installing the vinyl on the subject, the uh, squeegee needs to be 30 degree angles. And what it does is forces the air bubbles down and out. So it teaches people how to install the vinyl properly. Another reason is why I like to have a hard squeegee because you can actually shove the squeegee down and forward and get that vinyl deep into that edge of the unit, but also it's easily, you can slide it left to right and you can cut uh, the vinyl really good with that. Also, we have round corners so it doesn't damage the vinyl when you're going left to right. Here's what I'm showing you is that when you're using regular squeegees, they wear out, especially around the edges, and they have like little flurries or little scratches. You can actually scratch the, the vinyl in. And so with the artificial films, they last a little bit longer and they're a little more durable and stronger to use. Here's another little technique. If you use the round corner of the squeegee, you can have a round edge, if you want to call it, on the vinyl, it just cleans it up a little bit more. So if you see something like that, it's just a little easier to, to, to look at. Thank you for watching this video. And if you want to ever want to test out these uh, squeegees or the RMWraps tools, you go to the rmwraps.com website, go on the very bottom of the website where it says RMWraps tools, click on there, and then you will see all the products that uh, we sell for the tools. And uh, we also have a learning uh, page, how to wrap uh, architectural films on the rmwraps.com website too. So check out all the information there. And uh, again, thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned. We've got more projects, projects coming your way and you'll see me on the next video.